In this video we're going to see how to convert from and to scientific notation. First we're going to start off with a number in scientific notation and convert it to standard form, the way numbers normally appear. We're going to work with an example and the methodology is given and the number is 2.780418 times 10 to the 6. So that times 10 to the 6 lets you know it's scientific notation. We want to convert that to standard form. Um, there's other ways to express scientific notation when you use calculators or software. Um, and so the first step is actually to get it to look like this in our methodology. Um, so it's already in that, in that format. The next thing I like to do is determine whether the number is really big or really small. If the exponent is positive, then it's a really big number. If the exponent is negative, then it's a really small number. And that's large and small in the sense of absolute value. So since we have a positive exponent, this number is very large. It's far from zero. Okay, that exponent that you see above the 10 is going to tell you how many places to move that decimal point. Okay, so we have 2.780418. Uh, first thing you do is we're going to drop the times 10 to the 6th, right? So we don't need that. And then we're going to move the decimal point. And the 6 exponent you see, the 6, is how many places you move the decimal point. And remember that we want to make this number far from 0 or very large. That means that we would need to move it to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We we'll put the decimal point right there. Now since there's no non-zero digits to the right of the decimal point, we don't really need it anymore. And if you like, you can even put commas in after every three digits going to the left of the decimal point. So there's the number. It's 2,780,418. Let's look at another example. Here we see 4.7e negative 13. This is how things might appear if you were using something like Microsoft Excel. Alright, you might see something with the capital E. And also with the uh, scientific and graphing calculators. And so the E is just going to be replaced with a times 10. So we have 4.7 times times 10, and then exponent of negative 13. So the number to the right of the e becomes the exponent. Right. And this is the format of the scientific notation number we had in the first example. So You may have it with the e notation. You want to convert it. Okay, now we go through the same process. In this case, we have a negative exponent. So the number is very small, right? Or very close to 0. So We'll still use that number, uh, the exponent, 13, to move the decimal point. But this time, so we're going to move it 13 places. This time we want to make sure that the number is very small. So that means we move it to the left. All right. Now we don't have zeros there, so I'm going to We don't have any digits there, so I'm going to put a bunch of zeros. All right. So the decimal point is between the 4 and the 7. We want to move it 13 places. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the decimal point goes there. We don't need that zero in front. And that is now the number. All right, and there's a blank format for the methodology that you can then use for other examples. All right, now we're going to take numbers in standard form and convert them to scientific notation. So uh, we'll start off with this number, negative 0 0.00, lots of zeros, 805. All right, so the first thing we do is take this number and First thing we're going to do is actually move the decimal point so that it is to the right of the first non-zero digit. And first, I mean going left to right. So as we go left to right, the first non-zero digit is the 8. Right? All the other digits are 0, and the 8 is the first non-zero digit. And we want it to the right of that, which means we want it between the 8 and the 0 on its right. So we need to move the decimal point to that spot there. Well, that's pretty easy to do. We actually want to know how many places we have to move to do that. So I'm going to get rid of it here, and then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So it was 12 places. So make a note of that. And we can then discard these zeros. In step two, we're going to write that number that we had in step one, negative 8.05. And then we're always going to put a times 10. And then that's going to have an exponent. And the exponent is that number 12. If the number was really small, then that's going to be a negative exponent. If the number was really big, that's going to be a positive exponent. Uh, you can tell by looking at this number that it's very close to zero, and thus it is going to have a negative exponent. All right, now if we want to be able to use this in a calculation using something like Excel or a graphing calculator, we would need to know that it's the same as 8 point of negative 8.05 e negative 12. And that can be typed in the calculator just as we did before. So negative 8.05 second comma gets you the E and then negative 12. And then you can use that for calculations. On Excel, same idea, negative 8.05 capital E negative 12 and then that number is in there. All right, one last example we got a 1, a 3, and a whole bunch of zeros. We're going to do the same process here. And the decimal point is actually all the way on the right. When you don't see a decimal point, it's implied to be to the right of the farthest right digit. Again, we want that decimal point to the right of the first non-zero digit. Now here, the first digit that one is non-zero. So that's our first non-zero digit. We want it directly to the right of that, which means we want it between the one and the three. So we'd like our decimal point to be between the one and the three. Okay, so we're going to get rid of it here, and we're going to move it there, and we're going to count how many places we moved it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Uh, we can also get rid of these trailing zeros, and uh, you can even get rid of that one there. All right, so we got 21 places. Okay, so we take the number, 1.3, we put a times 10, and then we put an exponent on it, and put the 21. The 21 stays positive since the number was very large or very far from zero. And this can be put into the calculator in the same way, 1.3e12. Right. 
21.